Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Brenda from Planty Pants. I have not made a video for a couple of weeks and I'm pretty sure you remember why. Um, I'll give you a brief little tour of what's been, well you can already tell by that hallway it used to be rust color with um, this really strange grass type wallpaper on it. But we had that all removed. We painted the living room. No, not we, we had it painted. And um, <clears throat> we also had the living room floor refinished. So it's beautiful, but it was quite something um, yesterday because of um, just my OCD type tendencies, very small tendencies. I needed to touch up the paint around the perimeter where the walls meet the floor just because it wasn't perfect. And because I did that, I can hardly walk today. I mean, my glutes and my hamstrings are shot. So, what I'm gonna be doing, welcome to my channel, Planty Pants. And <clears throat> if you've never watched one of my videos, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I do all plant videos. I have over 450 indoor plants of all types. I also have a large garden that I am just gonna be starting the seedlings for pretty soon. I have a full-time job, so I'm pretty busy. So um, today, in, in this video, I am going to be doing some plant chores that I need to kind of do. Exciting plant chores, different ones. Um, and I'm going to be playing with some Lachusa Pond, which I'm excited about. Of course, I didn't open the bag right. There's a nice, handy little way to open it, but, you know, bowl in a china closet, Brenda, just... I'm going to have to use something to close it tightly, clearly after I'm done today. So anyways, let's get going. So what I'm gonna do first is, let's see, I think I'm gonna do this plant vessel right here. I got it at, I got a Goodwill. I don't know if you can see that, but it says garden. And it had this vessel in it. I don't really know if it came like this, but I bought it like this. And through the years, I usually have water propagations in here. So I decided I'm gonna use it to pot up these beautiful Hawaiian um, pofos starts that I've had for a couple of months now that have been rooting. So hopefully I'll be able to do all of them. The roots are like this long, so I think I'm gonna be able to do it. But what I'm gonna do um, is, I have been following this um, Instagram, I don't know if he has a YouTube, but his name is Adrian and Plants. I'm not sure where he is, but he's awesome. And he grows the most beautiful aeroids, um, very, very creatively. And I have, and I know that I've shown you different pictures of different plants that I have. I have tried pond and I switched quite a few of my plants to, well, quite a few, maybe 10 to pond. And this is pond. When you buy it, um, this particular stuff came from Germany. Um, it is not inexpensive, so you have to rinse it really good. And when you rinse it, you can't put you can't put the rinsed water down your drain. You gotta throw it outside, lest it clog your um, drain. So this is all rinsed. So what he does, Mr. Adrian, is he puts a little bit of pond in. Use this little spoon. He puts pond, not much, like like this much in the bottom of his vessel, like that much, okay? Then he takes sphagnum moss, which I have a container of right here, nice and dampened. And I do reuse this sometimes, you guys. If it's not like green and have algae or anything on it, I will absolutely reuse it because I think I've told you before that it's a bit pricey, so I'm putting um, I'm putting some moss in here, orchid sphagnum moss, and let's take a look at these guys. Oh boy, let's do one at a time. Okay, first things first is this guy right here. As you can see, when I got it, it was just it was just this node with nothing, and I've got some good roots, and it's growing rather rather well. So this is gonna go in here. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring you down a little bit. This is the first one of you guys. So this is what I'm doing. There's one. Okay. And 
then this is two. Oops, dad, gum it. Oh, those are some pretty nice roots for number two. See, I think it's ready. So you move this out of the way. I'm just gonna poke this down in there like that. And I have five of them, but I think I'm only gonna do four in this vessel. I think one of them has no leaf. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, let's see what I got here. So this is three. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there's only four. Wow, look at that. I thought, wow, I think these are ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them all in here. So here's three. See what I'm doing here? I'm just gonna pick up a little moss, poke it down in there. I wonder if I should cut these off. What do you think? You think I should cut? You think I should cut this off? I'm going to. Oh boy, I hope I don't mess anything up. I'm going to cut this off because it's... I cut that off. I think I'm going to do them all like that, you guys. Put that one back there. Actually, this one I'm going to leave and I'm going to cut the bottom off. Like that. And two... And then this one, I'm going to cut the top off. The bottom looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so let's look at these again. So, as I showed you before, I am just going to maybe take some of this out. I'll put these in here. One, two, three... Here's the last one. Wow, this one looks, look how much this one has grown. Pretty sweet. This one I think I'm gonna cut the top off as well. As long as I don't hurt anything. Okay, beautiful. I wonder if I should like wipe these down. Maybe I should. You guys are, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here, y'all, so I feel like maybe I should wipe them down a little bit. So I just wiped that one down. There's no, I don't, there's no rot or anything, so I think that if I just wipe, you know, wipe down anything that's black, I think it's going to be fine. There's two. This one. Yeah. All right, I'm glad I'm doing this just to get the black stuff off just in case. Of course, I'm getting it under my nails, which is really gross. Sorry. It's not glamorous playing with plants. And then this one, I will go ahead and wipe because it has a lot of black stuff on it. So that is what I'm doing here. Okay. All right, so let's do this again. So... One, I think you can see what I'm doing here. One, I'm so excited about these plants, you guys. Two, that, three, like that, and four, like that. Why not, right? One, two, three, four. What do you think? I'm doing it. So now I'm just gonna put moss in here. That's what he does. Adrian and plants. If you haven't seen his videos, check them out because his plants are amazing, amazing. I love watching his videos and he's so soft-spoken. He sounds like such a sweet guy. Sounds like such a sweet guy. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this, you guys. I'm just doing what somebody else did. That's how, that's how we learn, you know? If you wanna try this, go ahead and try it. If it doesn't work for you, well, I'll let you know if this works for me. I sure hope it does, because they've been in water on a heat mat for a really long time. 
All right, what do you think? I feel pretty good about this. So now we've got, so what I'm gonna do now is put either um, Super Thrive water or Liquid Dirt water, probably right about up to here. That's what he does. Then he lets them go and I'm telling you, his plants thrive. So, let me put you up a little bit. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. So there's one. I wanted to do that. So what I'm gonna have to do now is try to salvage this. this um, first of all, let me get the stuff out of my fingernails because it's gonna gross me out. All right, let me put this in here. Hey, you know what I can do? No, I won't do it. So, nope, it's gonna go over here. Now, another, another thing that I need to do today is to, I got these little pots and I showed them to you and I'll show you again. Um, I'll link them down again on Amazon and they are so cute because you can either just use this with peat, which, I mean, uh, not peat, orchid moss like this, this stuff that I've been using. Pretty freaking sweet because if you can see the bottom, you can actually put the water in up to there and it will keep the, 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 the um, moss moist. Or you could put this thing in it, and this has nice slits too. So I think I'm gonna use with the, it with the insert in it, and I am repotting, and I'm kinda scared to do this, but when, when I got these six pots for $13, you guys, it's the, it was an amazing deal. You gotta get them if you haven't gotten them, because I my plan is, it came with two of these, two, um, hooks that you can hammer into a wall and two different kind of um, like hanging hooks. So I'm my plan is to put this on my, the side of my Ikea cabinet and hang hang these two plants that I'm gonna repot right on the side because there's really a lot of um, wasted space in my Ikea cabinet. I told you about that before, remember in my last video? So what I'm gonna repot in these are these two beautiful um, Hoyas that I have. La Jolla Matilde, which is growing so well, and it's in moss now. So I'm just gonna leave it in moss, but I'm just gonna make, give it a kind of a bigger vessel. And this is a Hoya Croniana Super Silver. Super adorable plant. So I'm gonna start just by putting some moss in here. I don't want that stick. Like that, you see? Okay, so let's do the Matilde first. So what I have had them in are these little plastic cups and then these little orchid pots. I love these. I am, I'm addicted to these now. So I am going to just hopefully be able to, oh no, the roots are coming out the, oh, maybe I waited too long. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna damage the roots, you guys are so tender. Uh, what I am gonna do here, some of this moss is like, um, has algae on it. So I am going to try to separate the green moss because I'm not gonna reuse that. But anything that's not green, I'm gonna reuse. So I'm taking out the top moss, which is green. And I'm gonna try to save the moss on the bottom because it's not green. Ooh, these roots are beautiful, y'all. Bring it down a little bit, a little bit closer. So when you, this is two little pieces, I think. When you um, take moss off of orchids, you have to be darn sure that you're not accidentally pulling off a root because the roots are so small and so delicate that it's really easy to do that. So I'm trying like the Dickens not to do that. And you can kind of tell what, you know, what moss looks like too, you know, but it's not always that easy. So I'm just gently, I'm going to separate these because they were two separate plants, but as you can see, they're doing great. And I got a really well-established um, root system here. But I'm going to take as much as I can off just because I wanted to have a new, a new um, fresher moss around it. So there's one. See how beautiful that's growing? 
I love Hoya Mathilde. So I'm just going to set that right in there for now. So here's two. So we get the get the uh, moss off of there. You can leave some of it on. Beautiful root system. Look at the cute little leaves there. Aren't they flipping adorable? I love them. I love them. Okay. So, so right now you saw me put in about that much. I'm going to put a little bit more in, I think. And then I'm going to put these guys, I'm going to put them just right on the top like this. Like that. And then I'm going to fill up the rest of it with some fresh moss. I really, really, probably using moss is one of my favorite ways to grow plants, especially in the Ikea cabinet because it's nice and humid in there. So I'm just packing the, the moss, the fresh moss around this root system. Sometimes you have to like pull it over so that just you can make sure that you get enough room. I think this plant's going to be much happier now that it has more space and fresh moss and there's no algae um, and it's in this cute little pot and it's going to be hung on the, on the side of my Ikea cabinet. I'll be sure to show you a picture of that once I do it, but I'm going to put it down not really tight. Don't squish it down really, really hard because the roots need room to breathe. That's the whole idea of the moss. So that's probably going to be it right there. So there's one. All right, the other one I am going to do is, actually some of this moss is pretty good. I can use quite a bit of this. But if it's green, let me show you. If it's green like this, like this piece, I don't wanna use it. Because it's just gonna, I feel like it's just gonna get green quicker if it already has green on it, you know? So pick out the green stuff and salvage what you can. You can boil this stuff. I usually just pick out the green stuff and let it dry out and then um, rinse it and then just use it again. I don't boil it, but you can for sure. Um, okay, so the other one I'm gonna do is this Hoya Croniana Super Silver. Actually, let me put my little this is the most fun part. Hello, my name is Mathilde. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a weirdo, I am. I admit it, who cares? All right, where's the other one? What did I do with it? Oh, right here. All right, so I'm gonna take this out of here. And you can see the beautiful roots growing. But again, you can see all the algae around it. At least I'm just going to give it a, a fresh start. All right, so here's my pot, same size pot. Let's see how this, ooh, it popped right out. Ooh, look at that nice white root right there. Isn't that pretty? All right, I think this is just one plant, I believe. I believe, wow, I think I'm going to get rid of, actually, let's see. The outside stuff has mold on it, but the inside stuff looks good, see? See how you can save the stuff on the inside? So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Piece of grass growing in there. That's green. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how small it is. Look how small it is on oh my land. I think this is just one plant. It is. Oh, it's so cute though. Look how cute it is. Wow, look how long these roots are. Oh my gosh really really nice beautiful beautiful root system all right so as you can see we got some good stuff going on here those are nice gorgeous healthy roots beautiful roots um boys hasn't grown too, it has definitely grown but not too too much so it's okay maybe this will help it to grow more um, all right, so back to this pot, put this down for a momento. Let me see if I can choose some stuff that's not green from what I just dug out. Actually, I think I'm just going to take some fresh, put some in there, put some in there, a little bit more, 
now we're going to put this in the pot. Actually, I'm going to poke a hole in there and make sure that those roots are going to be, some of them are going to be, you know, down like they were to make sure they're nice and healthy. So I'm going to hold it up with my finger and then get some fresh moss and pack it around. So, oh my gosh, I love this plant, you guys. It's so stinking cute. Look at it. I love it. I love it. Gotta make sure I don't bury it. Nope, I didn't bury it. A little bit more on the sides. You guys seeing this? So just like the other one, I'm just gonna fill it in on the sides and call it good. Did you see those little leaves right there? Can you see those little teeny weeny leaves right there on the end? Can you see that? Let's see if I can put something behind it. Hold on. You <laughs> see them? Oh my gosh. All right, so there's that. I'm kicking some boute today. All right, so I am going to just move this stuff aside. Oops, we're going to put this in there. Gloria Croniana, super silver. All right. The other two things, so I'm gonna, one thing I'm gonna grow today, or plant today, in this pot right here, is, remember a couple of weeks ago, I did, let me bring you up again. Um, I did a, oh, I just hurt my wrist doing that. <laughs> um, this sucks getting old, y'all. Don't do it if you can avoid it. Um, I cut my, um, my uh, philodendron brandy because the end looked all wonky and it still does but see how much it's grown since I cut it and put it in water and I think it's ready to go so I decided to try the choose a pond with this in one of these you don't have to use this. this these things pop right off you don't have to use the hook I probably won't but I'm just gonna leave it on there for now so I brought a little scoopy Here's my Lechuza pot. I'm not picking up the bag because it's freaking heavy. This is what it looks like. It's made out of lava rock. There's three different ingredients. One of them is called Geo something, and then um, lava rock and pumice. And then there's also fertilizer in here. Slow releasing. I think it lasts like six months. So I'm gonna put it in the bottom like that. Oh, this thing is really rooted too. Plant that up. So remember when I cut the uh, Cebu Blue? Look, it's starting to grow. You see that on the end? Hold on. See the little nub? <laughs> I don't know why it turns me on so much, but it does. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this right in here. See what happens, you guys. We'll choose a pond. This is my first experiment with we'll choose a pond. I was gonna make my own, I think I told you that. But um I uh, when I got the two of the three products to make it, um they were really big pieces. I guess I wasn't careful enough. I thought I was. I think actually I think one of them sent me just the wrong thing. So I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to love it. So I just decided to buy a, bo a bag of Lechuza Pond. All right, hold on. I have to show you what it looks like. Lechuza Pond. I got a big old bag and it was only like $25, so that's really cheap. So there, I planted this in Lechuza Pond. So my understanding is I'm only going to put the water probably like up to here. And it's supposed to wick up through the roots and no pests because there's nothing organic in there. And um, that's one of the reasons why I switched to Leka as well because I have such a problem with um, pests. This morning I just had to take three of my beautiful allocations into the garage and spray the heck out of them with my ex because they had spider mites. Again! I just, oh, it's maddening. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna repot this beautiful philodendron splendid. I am super excited to repot this and I don't even know what I'm repotting it in. I gotta be honest, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna take it out and see what it looks like because look at the roots. First of all, I only got one top piece, okay? Which I paid extra for. But as you can see, well, let me just show you. This is really wet. As you can see, I ended up with two growth points. Let's see why. Take this off. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna put this in? I think I might put this in the, the choose a pond. I might. So now I'm just taking this off. I'll hold it up here so you guys can see it. All oh, the roots are just gorgeous. Very small though. Let's see if I can go like this. And see they're all wrapped around. Wow. This is so, so exciting. So exciting. So, um, I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about, I was gonna do my video today in the living room, but it would have taken me putting a table in there because it looks so great in there. We just moved all the furniture back in there yesterday, but um, I don't have anything on the walls yet. There's no art or anything on the walls. And, you know, I was like, yeah, I'll just do it. I got my dining room back because I didn't have my dining room literally for a whole week when they were doing the floors. We had all the living room furniture, including the plants, everywhere else in the house. I showed you pictures of that. But then we had to put the the couch and the love seat in this room. So we literally had nowhere to sit and live for a whole week. So we were like eating in our bedroom on the bed. <laughs> it was a little weird, but hey, we did it. All right, here we go. Just about done. So the root system... Wow, oh my gosh, look how healthy this is, y'all. Baby, baby, baby. All right, I think, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do now that I've done this? How am I gonna grow it? What am I gonna grow it in? I think it's right, I could just plant it, but I don't have soil right here. I'm gonna have to freaking go get some soil. You think I should plant it in the airport next? Look at the roots. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna have to plant it in something substantial. Although I could plant it in Lechuza, right? In a pretty good sized vessel. How about, all right, I have an idea. I've got an idea. All right. I'm gonna turn you off for just a moment. So stand by, okay? I got something brewing. Okay, I'm back. So I just rinsed out this jar that I had. This was actually a candle jar. All you have to do is put, this is how I save all of my, my, my candle jars, because I use them as vessels for plants. Just put them, um, once you burn the candle down to, you know, as far as it'll go, put it in a pot of boiling water with like this much water in the bottom of the pan and just let it heat up. And pretty soon this gets all loose and it comes right out. And if you heat it up hot enough, you can just take a napkin and wash it right out of there. I'm telling you. So I'm going to use this. I'm really scared. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. This, when I first got it, I was so nervous that it wasn't going to grow. And it did grow. And I'm very, very thrilled that I have it. But the reality is, you got to decide what you're going to do with things, starts, that you buy. First of all, I'm stoked that I, that I have two now. Two different ones. But I'm going to put it in Lechuza Pond. Now, because I'm going to do that, I really need to be careful to get almost all of this um, moss off. Literally, I need, to, I need to take care to make to get like almost all of it off. There can't be any in the cracks or anything because it's important. I'm, I'm assuming. I could be wrong. But I'm going to try it in the Lechuza Pond, and I'm going to keep a real close eye on it. And if I think that it's declining in any way in the first few days... I'll take it right out of there and do something else. I am not going to risk losing it. I, when I water my plants every week, I really examine like every single one of them because you have to for pests, if they're doing good, if they're starting to rot, if they're declining, if they need to be repotted or whatever, it's part of being a plant parent. So I am not worried too much about, you know, 
losing this plant because I'm going to be super careful with it. So, all right, I got 99% of it off. I should get, I can get even more little pieces off. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to put it in here. Bring it down here with me. All right, where's a little cup? All right, turn this around. One. Actually, that's all I'm going to put in there, just, just that little bit. And I'm going to set these down in here. Okay? I'm just going to hold this up like this. And fill it up. Now, the truth is, with Lechuza Pond, because it has a fertilizer, a slow-release fertilizer in it, you don't, have to, you don't have to put, you don't want to put anything except water in here. I mean, when you use LECA, you have to use, you know, fertilite, nu nutrient, uh, nutrient rich water, either liquid dirt or, you know, some kind of fertilizer. I use um, a combination of um, liquid dirt and then I, then I'll use, um, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I already forgot the name. Oh man, it'll come back to me. Um, all right, I'm doing this. I'm doing this, you guys. I'm doing it. I hope I'm not going to be sorry that I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. I may, I think I'm going to lose, I think I'm going to lose this leaf right here because it's already discolored and it was one of the first leaves that was with it when I bought it, but all right, I'm doing it. Ta-da! All right. Well, that's kind of all I have for you today. So I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I am having a lot of fun with this, and I want to thank everybody who has subscribed lately. I am so excited that I hit a 1,000 subscribers, and I am now monetized, and I'm actually going to get a check in the mail in about a couple of months, the first one's gonna be $10.14. Now, maybe that's not a lot of money, but I think it's great. I do, I just love doing this, so I'm not gonna stop doing it, so yeah, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and um, hit the notification button so um, you can be notified for my next video. Um, I was usually do them every week. Every weekend I make a video about all different things. Please give me some ideas if you would like to see different things. I did one on easy plants recently. I'm going to be doing one on trailing plants. I'm going to be doing one on how I clean my plants, which is so important because when you have as many plants as I do, you want to keep them clean, especially because I've been having work done. It was nuts. So um, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, please... Um, Stay safe out there, and God bless.